and welcome all on behalf of National Instructional Media Institute Chennai. I am G. Rajesh Parna from National Skill Training Institute Chennai. Our today's topic is safety practice on first aid and subtitle is artificial respiration. At the end of this class you shall be able to state the CPR and you can able to list out the different types of artificial respirations and you can able to explain the Nelson's arm lift back pressure method and also you can able to explain the scuffers method. First aid is a vital for saving life. A person can carry out first aid after a traumatic injury or accidents or incidents before the arrival of the emergency services. The aim of the first aid is to preserve life, prevent further injuries and promote recovery. The first aid is a combination of simple steps and the common senses. As we discussed in our previous classes, the ABC is the common and important terms in the first aid. The ABC stands for airway, breathing and circulation. Evaluating and maintaining of ABC with the patients depends upon the training and experience of the first aider. As soon as the ABC has been secured, the first aider can focus on the further treatment to the victim. We have to check for the patient's natural breathing and consciousness. If the victim is unconsciousness but he is breathing, then loosen the clothes near neck, chest, waist and place the victim in the recovery position. The recovery position will help to minimize the further injury or risk. But if the patient is unconsciousness but also not breathing, the first aider need to start the steps to apply artificial respiratory resuscitation. CPR Cardiopulmonary resuscitation is a life-saving technique useful in many emergencies including a heart attack or drowning when someone's breathing or heartbeat has stopped. The immediate CPR can double or triple the chances of the survival of the victim after a cardiac arrest. CPR can keep oxygenated blood flow flowing through the brain and other vital organs to the human being until the definitive medical treatment can restore the normal heart rhythm. Different methods of artificial respirations. The different methods are revive breathing in victims by Nelson's arm lift back pressure method, revive breathing in the victim by scuffers method, Revive breathing in the victim by mouth to mouth method. Revive breathing in the victim by mouth to nose method. Before starting artificial respiration, check the victims for injury and burns and then decide on the suitable method of artificial resuscitation. In the case of injury burns to the chest and our belly, Follow the mouth to mouth method. In cases of burns injuries in the back, follow Nelson's method. In case of mouth is closed tightly, use scuffers or Holgen Nelson's method. Revive breathing in the victim by Nelson's arm lift back pressure method. Place the victim with his arm folded with the palms one over the other and the head resting facing the ground with his cheek over the palms. Kneel on one or both knees near the victim's hand. Now place your hands on the victim's back beyond the line of the armpits with your fingers spread outwards and downwards, thumbs just touching each other. Now gently rock forward keeping your arms straight until they are nearly vertical and steadily keep pressing the victim's back to force the air out of the victim's lungs. 
synchronize the above movement of rocking backwards with your hands sliding downwards along the victim's arm and grasp his upper arm just above the elbows of him continue to rock backwards as you rock back gently raise and pull the victim's arms towards you until you feel the tension in his shoulders to complete the cycle lower the victim's arms and move your hands up to the initial position continue the artificial respiration till the victim starts to breathe naturally when the victim revives keep the victim warm to stimulate the blood circulation towards the heart by stroking the insides of the arms and legs keep him in the lying position and do not let him exert himself in case of injuries to the chest or belly nelson's arm lift back pressure method must not be used so revive breathing in victims by scuffers method lay the victim on his belly one arm extended direct forward the other arm bent at the elbow and with the face turned sideward and resting on the hand or forearm kneel down when the victim is astride so that his thighs are between your knees with your fingers and thumbs positioned with the arms held straight slowly swing forward so that the weight of your body is gradually brought to bear upon the lower ribs of the victim to force the air out of the victim's lungs now immediately swing backwards removing all the pressure from the victim's body to allow the lungs to fill with air after 2 seconds swing again forward and repeat the cycle 12 to 15 times per minute continue the cycle till the victim begins to breathe naturally do not use this method when the victim has injuries on the chest or and belly i hope now you understand the steps and methods of artificial respiration by the types of nelson's arm lift back pressure method and scuffers method successfully so in our next class we will see about the mouth to mouth respiration and mouth to nose respiration to revive breathing into the victim thank you and see you in our next video